Hi, I'm John Schaefer, owner and founder of Real Goods Trading Company down in Hopland, California at the Solar Living Center, a company I started 40 years ago this year. And I'm here today to tell you a little bit about my brand new Simplify batteries in my power system and my renewable energy home out here at Sunhawk Farms. Choosing the right battery system was really the heart of the renewable energy system here at Sunhawk. We've lived here for about 20 years. We have a large main house. We have eight acres of vineyard and 14 acres of olives. And we have about four living structures and two water pumps, a hot tub, and now I have a Tesla, which I charge off the renewable energy system. Choosing the batteries was critically important. For 18 years, we had some flooded lead acid batteries, which did their job for 18 years longer than you'd expect them, but there was a lot of maintenance. Had to remember to water them every month, had to remember to clean the terminals every year, uh, you know, had to put on the gloves and bring out the baking soda and all of the work that entails with lead acid batteries. We wanted to keep on top of the latest in technologies and when when lithium iron phosphate batteries came out, there are obviously a number of them on the market. And we looked at them all very seriously, compared them all. Uh, what's critical to compare is the number of cycles you get, the lifetime of the battery, the warranty, and of course, very importantly, the uh, price per kilowatt hour of the battery over time. Now it's interesting, there's been a lot of talk out there these days about the power wall. And when you look at the power wall, yeah, it's an interesting technology, but you're paying for a lot of the uh, Elon Musk hype about what these batteries are all about. But when you look at an objective basis, you're actually paying like 44 to 45 cents a kilowatt hour for those batteries over time, compared with these simplified lithium iron phosphate batteries where you're paying is like 11 cents. So it's a quarter of the price of a power wall just to avoid that PR charge that you're getting for buying Elon Musk's latest product. Now the Simplify came out better than all the other batteries that we've looked at. I mean, Outback Mate, I can read exactly the kilowatt hours I've drawn out of my solar, what's come out of my solar system, what's come in through my hydro system, and what's come in through the inverters, and what goes out in all those different areas. I can look at each day and see exactly how much I've used and how much I've generated. So it's a great system to see exactly where you are. And it's very gratifying to wake up first thing in the morning after that hot tub has run all night, kept at 105 degrees. The Tesla's charged up and find out my batteries are still at 80%. Um, these batteries are maintenance free, never be any water to change. You can take them down from 100% to 0% without harming the batteries whatsoever. These batteries have a 10,000 cycle life. If you do like I do one cycle a day, that's 27 years of use out of these batteries. I'll be 105 years old before I have to replace these, which uh, we'll see. We'll see who who outlasts whom. Amen. So these uh, lead acid batteries had uh, what is it, 144 kilowatt hours of storage in them. Um, our new batteries, uh, the, the new ones here, have uh, about 81 kilowatt hours worth of storage in them. Uh, total rate and capacity, but. With lead acid, you only want to use about 35%, the top 35% of the power on a daily basis. Otherwise, you start to start to decrease their longevity. So if we were to if we were to use 35% of the capacity on a daily basis, these would be 50 kilowatt hours of storage, uh, the two banks we have here. Uh, these guys, on the other hand, uh, because we can use 80% of their power on a daily basis, we wind up with about 65 kilowatt hours, kilowatt hours of storage. So the old ones, 50 kilowatt hours of storage. The new ones, uh, 65 kilowatt hours of storage. So even though we've actually decreased the overall rated capacity of our battery bank, we actually have more uh, usable on a daily basis. Yeah. So as we're wiring all these batteries, since they each need to have uh, their own circuit, it's also important to make it so that the cable lengths are all the same. Uh, the farthest battery has the same cable length as the, new, as the nearest battery. So we kind of had to create some loops here. Um, in the process of zip tying those, making them a little bit neater. Uh, there's kind of a lot of cable to deal with there, but you know the importance of having it so they all get the same charge voltage, the same amount of resistance to each battery is worth it. So each of the uh, batteries gets an individual breaker that all run in parallel. Um, if there is ever to be a problem with any, any one battery, uh, it can shut off. Uh, you can have all the rest of the system working. If you ask me, the, the best battery on the market today for just about all renewable energy uses is the Simplify battery.